Hi there and welcome to this fast paced video where I will talk you through the TradingView news menu. This video is part of a multi-part series where I will walk over all the features of the TradingView platform. This way I hope to show you some interesting new features which you didn't know and might help you to be an overall better informed trader. The news menu is a pretty short menu which gives you access to the most important news items categorized into different sections. These sections are then broken down into subsections to give you access to better filtered categories of information. Since TradingView gets its news from different news providers, let's begin with this last menu item first. For example, if I click on Reuters, then I see all the news items that is provided by this news platform. To me, this also looks like a large RSS feed of news without having to subscribe to this news feed. There are two different views here, the list version that you see over here and the grid version. If I click on one of these items, a reading pane will appear with the news content I wanted to see. There are navigation buttons on the left and the right of the article to open the previous or next item. You can also scroll down or up, or go to the previous or next article by only using the arrow buttons on your keyboard. You can also share this article on Facebook, Twitter, or just copy the link of this page for emailing or texting. Below the article there are also buttons that give access to the symbol, index or other chart that is discussed in this article. If you hover over this item you will see a mini chart and you can also go directly to the supercharts when you click this button. It could also be that there are links to the symbol charts within the article itself. And these act the same way. All the way down there are some final links to different sections in which this article could apply to. So you see that as I click on one of these news brokers, you will see all their provided news articles focused on the categories in which they publish their news, without ever having to leave TradingView. The added benefit is that this news is also without any distractions like commercials, pop-ups, moving images, paywalls and other focus breaking stuff. The main disadvantage I see at the moment is that some news categories such as stocks and corporate activities are biased against the American market. This is probably caused by the usage of mostly American news providers. So if you are mainly focused on American markets, then this is not a problem. But for people that use this as a news broker for news about European, Indian, Chinese, Japanese, South American or other overseas markets, then TradingView news will probably disappoint you. Now all this news that is aggregated from these providers is also categorized on multiple ways into different subsections. This means that an article can end up in different categories, so it's possible that you will see the same articles in multiple sections. Within the market section, the all category is self-explanatory here and consists of all the other news items. Below that there are subcategories like stocks, ETFs, crypto, forex, indices and more. If I click on the all item, the page opens with all market news items. And on this page you can also filter in these subcategories as well. So it is actually always the same page you end up if you directly click on one of these market submenu items. And it saves me some time because I don't have to run over each and every submenu item here. By clicking on each of these sub selection buttons you get the news that belongs in this category. So clicking on stocks shows you the stock news, crypto shows you crypto news, forex idem dito, just like indices, futures and so on. And there's not much more to this page than this. Also, each news item within these categories acts in the same manner I demonstrated earlier. The arrow buttons are the most helpful tool here to read and navigate between different articles. Below the markets, there is the worlds menu. This opens up the categorized news that is not so much company or asset oriented, but focuses more on the world economics subjects. Again, this menu works the same as the markets menu. The global submenu opens a page that also contains buttons to all the sub selections you saw in the menu. So if I click on Europe, then only the European news gets shown here. Then there is the menu item that focuses on the news of corporate activity. Again, it has the same page layout and workings of the previous two menu categories, so not much to add here. As I said in the news broker section, most of the corporate news here is focused on American companies, probably because by the limited use of news providers from other international markets. But if your main focus is the American markets, then your thirst for corporate news will be quenched here in this subselection of the news. The last item I want to discuss here in the menu is the analysis item. 
The articles here are not extensive news articles that you can read in your lazy chair, but short to the point analysis opinions of a multitude of bank analysts on stocks, options, futures and other trading assets. By clicking on one of the news items, I get an overview page with all the analysis items and the buttons to the same sub-selections as shown in the menu. Even the articles I select behave exactly the same as all the other news items. And also, if they are there, the contents also have hyperlinks to the mini chart and super charts. Although many of these news items are just short messages with analyst ratings. The next menu I want to show is the brokers menu. Now my personal opinion about this menu is that it is more of a marketing menu for the brokers that work together with this platform. Not to say that it is bad, but just the fact that the menu consists of features brokers might say something about the money they pay trading view to be present in this pull down menu. To be practical, the choice of brokers here is purely dependent on your personal preferences for trading vehicles. Whether it be stocks, forex, bonds and others, but also on the possibilities you have in your own country for using these. For example, in the Netherlands there are not many exchanges or broker options nowadays if I want to trade crypto. And even if I want to trade crypto, I have to be lucky that TradingView works together with the platforms that are allowed to do business in the Netherlands. Also if you choose a broker where TradingView can work with, then fees are also a major factor here too. It can be that TradingView broker has much higher trading fees than a broker that does not connect with the platform. Or you might miss out on certain benefits and information by using TradingView instead of the original broker's platform. So take this into consideration as well. But please do not base your decision on what I say here. Do your own research and find out what is best for you. Besides this, if you do want to use a broker that works with TradingView, it is super easy to open an account. For example, if I click on Easy Markets that is promoted in the Brokers menu, then there is a promotional page with a button on the right where you can open an account directly. The other information here is based on the posts that are tagged with this exchange, like an overview of user opinions about the exchange, reviews, trading ideas that are also tagged, and the followers that clicked on the follow button here on top. Now most of the information is based here on personal opinions and not cold hard data. And unfortunately there is no chart, table or other information about the fees of the platform used here, so you will have to look this up in their own respective websites. There is also not much information on why these brokers have ratings like platinum or gold or other. And I could also not find a table with comparisons between these brokers and why they are rated like this. As far as I could find at least. So. Here the ratings should be looked at with a critical eye and you have to wonder what makes this broker end up this high in the ratings as well. And with this critical end note on the advertised brokers, I want to finish this video about the TradingView news and brokers menu. Many thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe or leave a comment if you have one. And if you want to start a TradingView subscription, then please use my affiliate link since this will also give you a $15 discount on the total subscription amount too. For now this is it and I will see you in the next video where I show you even more of this excellent trading platform. Goodbye!